Hey everybody, this is Owen Fox here, welcoming you to another video from the Caribbean here in Turks and Caicos Islands. Um, in this video I'd like to talk about balance and extremes and wisdom and health and nature. Because what I've realized lately deeper than ever is that health is found by maintaining a balance. And nature naturally undergoes constant renewal of balance, equilibrium of the ecosystem. Um, and in humans, when we, when we lose balance and go into the extremes of the yin and the yang, wisdom is found in the shades, I say. Wisdom is found in the, the middle of the polar opposites of black and white. So it's not about this or that. Sometimes people say, I'm tired because of this, this happened because of that. But we, in truth, we have to remember um, that everything is interrelated and interconnected. And everything is everything is one of my favorite quotes that I say as well. Everything is everything. Everything, you can't just pin, pinpoint one reason to anything because everything is interrelated and interconnected. But what you can do is you can say this is the main reason or the secondary or third reason or whatever that case may be. So you can become clear on the reasons. So we, do, we don't live in a world of right or wrong, like one extreme or the other extreme. We live in a world of cause and effect. So everything has an effect and everything has multiple causes and everything has really multiple effects, really. So this applies to health. It applies to wisdom. It applies to wisdom, and like I was saying here. So you recognize the different causes and the different effects of your habits and your choices, your you're doing the things that you do and the things that you opt not to do for example you choose to eat this you choose to do say this to this person you might get a really bad result so let's say you're tired or you're sick you recognize it's probably because of these two or three main reasons and then you can identify to, to do what you need to do let's say get more sleep cut down your your protein intake which is acidifying and uh, can cause inflammation causes inflammation in your diet in your body um, so, the best herbs are generally what's called tonic herbs in Chinese medicine. And these herbs are all also known as adaptogens, they're very generally adaptogenic. And that means it helps your body to stabilize and find equilibrium. Um, so things like rhodiola, ginseng is very famous, schizandra, um, Hoshi Wu, goji berries, um, you, you call me a bark, loads of cool stuff, okay? <laughs> Rishi. But I like, I'd like to say, um, oh yes, Siberian ginseng. I'd like to say really that like sickness is caused when we start going away from balance and homeostasis because the body is comprised of cells that are always trying to find homeostasis and all of our systems are are all working together interrelatedly like the way life is like I was saying earlier and when we let's say affect one organ that has a knock-on effect on other organs our system is uh, connected um, so health is found through balance this video is really all about balance and the wisdom of balance the wisdom of the polarity the interconnected polarity of left and right right or wrong tall and small it's the same thing on the same scale it's just different ends of the scale and life is all about the shades of gray on the scale it's it's not about one or the other it never is about one or the other health ill and ill health are same t same scale they're just opposites and like peak health, let's say peak health, amazing, optimal, thriving health of energy, well-being and like vigor, vitality. And then like lone vitality, tired, sick, de-energized, can't cope, stressed, etc. So adaptogens help us find stasis, homeostasis. But using our wisdom and our cleverness, we can look after ourselves to find like get enough rest, get enough sleep, early nights, drink enough water, don't eat too much, which is a plague in modern society. Eat enough, but not too much more than enough, or even none more than enough. <laughs> don't eat too little either. <laughs> don't oversleep, don't undersleep. Don't run, you don't burn your candle at both ends, which is what most people do. To burn yourself out, it's like just extreme. Like in my own life, I burnt myself out so badly, like I just crippled my body. 
still recovering and I'm using like raw foods, fruit, fruit based diet of raw foods and fasting and herbs. And you can say a little bit of the old superfood powders too. So I'm there to four things. So fasting is a bit like rebalancing overeating and helping to rebalance when you've overstretched the elastic band, helping to come back into its ordinary stretching, stretching range. So that's how you get better. You reestablish balance and you do things in moderation and balance, healthy ranges. How you get sick and overly stressed, you do things outside of the range of health in the inside of the, the spectrum of like too little and too little and too much. You, you go you live in here, generally speaking. This will lead to longevity, health, vitality and youthfulness into old age. The Jing system, the Jing, your, your vitality, your, your inherited strength, your genetical strength, that's, that's um, your sexual vitality, it's all related and it's connected to your hearing and your hair loss, or hair, should I say, hair health and hair amount. So that's why you see, uh, and moistness is youthfulness as well, flexibility, old age, you're losing your hair, your hair is changing colour, going grey, um, you're losing your hearing and becoming wrinkly and dried up, they're all signs of loss of jing which is naturally happens from life but when you burn yourself into the extremes and at both ends that's when you lose your jing over activities you burn your jing out it's hard to recover but luckily we can use the best herbs in the world to recover and also breathing practices like qigong so have a look at my herbal website below hireselfherbs.com you can see some of my products and a lot of different information i do life coaching i do health coaching spiritual life coaching etc and my herb shop, this is how I've gotten better. I've used the best herbs in the world to help restore myself. And now I'm getting into fasting. It's so powerful. Fasting is trusting in God to re-establish equilibrium, balance between your systems and your organs and your body, to regenerate, to rest deeply. Fasting is the fast way of... <laughs> fasting is like um, going slowly so you can fastly recover. <laughs> it's funny the way it's called fasting. So, this video, I wanted to make it because I want you to understand more the idea of balance, extremes and health. And the more you align yourself with nature and natural practices, natural living, natural products, natural food, fresh, ripe, real, raw, you know, optimally to be honest, we're the only species that cook our food and we're the only ones that have degenerative diseases and massive premature aging. All the other animals, all species, all vertebrates like us, they, they don't cook. The sun is our cook. Well, we double cook by human hand, we get sick. We get stuff like arthritis, depression, anxiety, fear, like uh, hypertension, diabetes, cancer, heart attack, arterial placking, stroke. Oh man, it's not good. High blood pressure. So just live according to natural practices, and you live longer and way healthier. Natural food is like a her it is herbal. It's so powerful. So. Remember this in your life to know when people say it's this or that. And no, it's not this or that, it's everything. And know how healthy or unhealthy or balanced you are in your health and your spirituality, the body, mind, spirit, the connection of everything. Body, mind, spirit, emotions. And then look to look after your body because when your body's sick, the soul is living in a vehicle that's like <gasps> sick and you don't have the energy to be inspired. And one last thing in this video, I was going to say, you got to be creative in this this world, be imaginative and think outside of the box. You have to find ways and solutions, you have to try new things. If you keep living inside the box, it doesn't work, you won't get solutions to your problems, your issues, your challenges. So think outside the box, You don't. it's not only just one way to achieve things. A really good quotation I heard yesterday was also, life begins at the end of your comfort zone, which is really good, I like that. So get out of your comfort zone more often and live life. I'm going to go swimming in the sea now in a minute. I'm going to swim naked. I'll give it a go. It's a beautiful beach. This is such a deep teaching, everyone. Really, you can apply it to everything in life. It's not just some things, but or a lot of things to everything. Health, body, mind, spirit is an accumulation of all of your practices put together. My, one of my intentions lately is to go to bed earlier, instead of like around half eight, to go to bed at eight. Because the sun 
sun goes down around half seven so like you get your kidneys will rejuvenate more your adrenals will rejuvenate more so many people are sick these days so that's why I do life coaching and that's why that's um, why I make these videos and that's why I started a herb shop and that's why I know people burn themselves out Low, nearly everyone has adrenal and, and kidney weakness especially the white people by far and away they're much weaker <laughs> I observe people all the time, the characteristics. People over here in the Caribbean here in Turks and Caicos, they have a little bit of grey in their hair for sure. A bit of, they're going a bit grey, but only in their early 50s. But other, they have a full thick head of hair still generally. And they've mostly nearly all black still. Over in Ireland, some people are completely white in their 50s, utterly. And drying skin, all that stuff. Over here, they have much more vitality, strength and vigour. I, I, I want to recover my strength, energy, vitality and vigour and I am, I'm going to do it, I am doing it and I'm excited so stay tuned if you're interested in health or spiritual power, spiritual awakening, all these words or you can just call it like, to be honest this is expansion, uh, growing up um, and in a deeper person instead of just a shallow way you know. And if you're interested in buying my book, I'm working on my second one, my first one's available, have a look below. And my partner Sally does also um, spiritual life coaching, it's very good, brilliant course, so check out her below as well in the, in the description box. Well, pay my respect to you and much love and peace and light be with you. And remember the angels are with you, they look after you, they help look after you. And it's very nice to give gratitude and ask them daily for the protection and help in your life just to encourage them. They don't want to encroach on free will, but they will be helping you. So know that life is a spiritual journey and look out for the coincidences and then you'll know. <laughs> There's so many coincidences with me and Sally and our family. It's countless. Countless, countless, countless. So there's, there is signs and links, links and coincidences everywhere if you happen to look out and see it so know your life is special and amazing and precious and know that everyone gets down and has challenges and has off days and hard is finding things hard that's why people are here to help each other and i encourage you to help other people and uh, let go of what's holding you down back let go reach out like reach out yourself into the world as if you're a crab in a shell come out don't play small play big that's what you're meant to be and to be yourself is the most important thing and the purpose of life be yourself 100 percent prettiest best beautiful most sprightly scented flower you could possibly ever be in your because you only come once there's only you ever never repeated and that's the purpose to be ourselves fully and magnificently letting go of the fear and the, the Dimination, the diminutive, the small little like playing small in the world. And to have a great time, guys. Be like the lilies and the flowers who just be themselves without any fear. No restraint, you know, no. That's the best thing you could ever do in your life, and the only thing I'd ever want to ask you to do. Let go and be you. Thanks, everyone. See you again in another video new subscribe share if you liked it hit the like button below if you've liked this video and i'll see you again next time okay have a lovely day bye now